teachings of Jesus immediately lead to life, whereas Paul immediately leads you to this. If you reject Paul's letters, you're a cult. But what else we got? Well, the Bible is the word of God. Can't reject it. Paul's letters are inspired. If our righteousness saves, then Christ died in vain. It is impossible to be sinless. And I've heard that one so many times. But what's the truth? Are you sinless then? When you tell them you can walk free of sin by the grace of God? And then we go down that path and what do we see? The truth from our Messiah. If your hands, eyes, and feet are craving to sin and you are unable to stop sinning, Jesus gave an excellent suggestion on how to be sinless. Just cut them off. And it is that serious. If you follow the doctrines of Paul, you're going to end up in hell. It's that simple. He is preaching a false message. It is not by faith alone. It is not by grace alone. You receive the gift of eternal life. And he twists things just enough that they look legitimate, just like Satan does. Satan is a master of knowing scripture. And Paul is a disciple of Satan. He is the false prophet that Revelation speaks of. The false Messiah, the name of the beast is Jesus. And I pray all of you really think on these words from Jesus. This is the morning to get into eternal life. Amen.